gang so um today i'm coming because i was asked to do like a mini haul and i'm going to say a mini haul because i don't have a lot to show but i'm going to show you some of the clothing um the maternity clothing that i have already purchased because tomorrow i will be a whopping 18 weeks okay um these right here are not maternity pants. And as you can see, honey, this might be the last wear that I get out of them. So let's get started. Excuse my closet. As women, you know, y'all understand men. If y'all are watching this, y'all will be fine. So once again, it won't be too, too much of a lengthy video because I don't have a lot, a lot, a lot. show you these okay so these right here are some pants um that my mother actually purchased me from old navy and ross now old navy we found out that they actually have discontinued their maternity um clothing line here in south carolina but they did have a couple of items left and that's what we purchased so these are just some really really cute pants i can't wait to wear these they're more of the um they're more of like the dressy date night type of jean well not really jean they're stretchy i love them these are jeans from target if you all did not know target definitely sells maternity clothing um one thing i like about these and what i have figured out is that i love the the maternity jeans with the full waistband the full waist stretchy band i do not like the ones with just the the side stretch to them i don't like those these here were purchased from old navy there's once again some dress pants they just look like super huge these are actually just an extra large so i have to get these in soon and these these are from target as well they're just a black version of the jean pants with the stretchy band around them now i know that um I was a little confused while shopping for maternity pants because, of course, my first child. And a lot of the pants are measured by the size that you would normally wear. So, for example, excuse me, I am a 13 in jeans. Um, and so the maternity pants are like 14, 16, 8. So I'm like, mom. Do I just get a size up because I don't want to just be able to wear the darn pants for a week? So it was a little tricky, but try them on. Okay. I also purchased a lot of shirts. These um, all came from either Old Navy or Target as well. A lot of the maternity shirts. Now, my mother was very big on making sure that they were maternity shirts. Maternity shirts are made with the, the sides that are stretchy on the side that come in. That kind of clasp your waistline. Um... You know, you can really tell the difference between a regular t-shirt and a maternity t-shirt. Thought that this was the bomb. <laughs> Definitely going to get a wear out of that. Thought that this was beautiful for some pictures. An oversized blue jean shirt. Can't go wrong with blue jean. Okay. And I got me a jacket that I need to start wearing because... Sooner than later, I won't be able to wear that anymore. 
have to get this one together. All right. Okay. Now, today I actually purchased, y'all, yeah, Walmart. These are my favorite. Go get you some. Expecting mothers, these have to be the best stretch legging ever, ever, ever. They're comfortable. Um,. The brand is called Athletic Works, so I would definitely guess that they're for athletes or want to work out. However, we need them as well. I got two of these. Oh, this is from Walmart. This is the larger one. I <laughs> oh, okay, I did get a medium one as well. Once again, I purchased me another can't have too many, another maternity shirt. Now, once these are Walmart, so and they feel so good. I don't want to go spending a lot, a lot of money on maternity clothes because I know that I, I it feels like it, but I know that I won't be pregnant forever. And I don't want them to just, you know, go to waste. Guys, look at here. And this one was only $7.98. This one was only $8.88. And I know they're comfortable. I can tell by the way that they feel that they're comfortable and that they're going to be very well worth it. And last, I got to say, but least because this I mean, it's the last of the last. I purchased flats. <laughs> now, I have worn these twice already and my feet are getting a little too swole for them. But um, at work, we do have to dress business, excuse me, business casual. So I purchased flats. I also purchased a size up in the same flats in a different color, it's like a peach color. And I also got them in a metallic silver suede color as well. Look at these. Now those were on sale at Old Navy as well. I did get these. They're cushioned in the inside. My child's father hates them, but as I said, I have to walk comfortable. It's nothing like being able to waddle and be comfortable at the same time because it gets, you know, a little hard. I think that's it other than a lot of the stretch pants from Walmart, a lot of the leggings. Um, I will have to purchase me just like a lot of oversized shirts that I can make into dresses for the summer. Um... For the chill days, I have Adidas sweatpants. Um, I'm going to continue to purchase me bras or sports bras. I would rather a sports bra than a bra with the band around the back. That's just my personal preference. Um, I actually do have some other long sleeve maternity shirts from Ross. And Ross, the the clothes at Ross were actually on sale too and I'm talking like six dollars five dollars eight dollars I think the most that I paid at Ross was probably around <laughs> probably around ten dollars so it just goes to show that when you bargain shop even if you're not trying to or even if you don't want to or even if you know it's not your thing you don't have to spend a buttload of money a what I mean, a boatload. Is it a boatload of money? Oh, a what? A boatload of money on maternity clothes because you can go to a lot of shopping centers and a lot of, you know, places that you don't think sell maternity clothes and look in the maternity section, if available, and find you some things. So, 
that will actually be the end of my haul make sure you all like comment share continue to comment because once again this um actually a girl that watches my videos at work asked me if i could do this so if i purchase more clothes and if y'all want to see this more often let me know um my next appointment is on the fifth but it's not for button buttons appointment will be on february 18th at 10 45 and so hopefully i will see y'all before i know i will see y'all before then but other than that, we signing out.